And tonight, a new variant, the coronavirus, is being named by the World Health Organization, and it's causing concern. The Omicron variant was first identified in South Africa earlier this month. Today, the U.S. banned travel from eight African countries as scientists scramble to learn more about the highly mutated variant. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Esquiva shares what we know so far about Omicron. A new variant of COVID-19 is worrying scientists who say it could be highly transmissible and mutated. Could this also you know, lead to more severe disease? Well, really, this is all unknown at this time. The only thing that we know is that there might be a risk of higher, uh, uh, risk in the level of transmission um, and potentially a risk in the number of infections. But uh, we really don't know much more uh, uh, than this at this time. Dr. Paulo Verardi studies vaccines and viruses at the University of Connecticut. He says it could be weeks before scientists really understand how the new variant behaves. But one concern, it spreads fast. The variant has already been reported in Europe and Africa, and health leaders believe it may already be in the U.S. When you have a virus like this, it almost invariably is ultimately going to go essentially all over. The issue of blocking tra of a travel from a given country is to just give us time to assess it better. That's the reason for doing that. Dr. Anthony Fauci says it's too early to panic because not enough is known about the variant. However, one concern scientists have is that it might be more resistant to vaccines. It is conceivable that it may be diminishing a little bit the protection, but the vaccines that we use may very well be able to contain this, and then it won't be as serious as some people are surmising it might be. A lot of unknowns, which is the reason why we're all over this. As health leaders investigate the virus, Dr. Verardi urges people to wear masks, avoid crowds, and to get vaccinated, saying vaccines are still the best way to avoid serious disease. We know that those things, you know, uh, uh, help us to combat COVID-19. So um, they are here to stay for a little while. Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.